Hey guys, Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch, and today we're going to talk about the wiper motor, the wiper system on your coach. And if you have one and you've looked at it, you already know uh, it has it runs the wipers off of the hydraulic power steering system. That's right, off the power steering system. You got two lines coming into it. Actually, it's the same wiper motor that was on my 62 Lincoln. Yeah, same one. The difference in that one was it had a button that you could just run at one time, which actually, when I, when I show you how the cable works on this thing, uh, that could be done. Right? So anyway, the wiper motor is hydraulic. I had a, a video about the power steering system replacing the hoses and all this stuff, and I... And I talked a little bit about uh, the wiper motor and some maintenance on it, but I tell you what, I had a question about that. I stepped through it piece by piece and thought, well, you know, that'd be a good one to have in the database. So let's do that. Let's go through step by step on how to uh, service uh, the wiper motor and how it works. All right. So come on with me. I'm going to come over here to JG. He is offered to be our, our guinea pig. Offered, well, that's his job. <laughs> All right, here's our wiper motor right here. All right, <coughs> excuse me. This cable coming across here is your control system. First thing you do is there is a quarter inch hex nut, hex screw right here. You take a quarter inch nut driver and very carefully take that screw out because it's a very, very short screw and you don't want to lose it. When you take it out, the cable comes out. The cable's got a little little button on the end of it. It slides into a slot right here. You see how this moves? Well, when this goes in, it hits a button right up in there. It pushes in and routes the hydraulic fluid through the wiper. If this is all the way out and that button's not pushed, it's in the off position. You follow? All right, so we've disconnected the cable to it. And I'm going to put the screw back into the hole so we don't lose it. Because it's a, it's a very unique screw, real short. All right, so we have this cable now. <clears throat> if you want to do something good for this thing, and you don't want to go into the dash, hold this thing up as high as you can and drip some, drip some uh, WD-40 or... Uh, Penetrating well uh, down this this cable as much as you can and go up top and move it back and forth If you do pull off the back of the dash You can get to the top of this cable and run a little bit of penetrate and hold down it down there because it will go down to the path of least resistance That's the best thing to do, but you need to get this cable lubed because <clears throat> You can't replace that thing Now up in that handle when you take if you do take that apart be real careful with it my suggestion is leave it in place or don't take it apart and just lube it because there's a little there's a spring and a small ball bearing that it hits detents so be real careful that doesn't come apart all right all right so anyway here's the cable now this hose on the right hand side is a return hose and it literally is put on with a quarter inch hose clamp all right so it's nothing special there's a barb coming out of here this hose goes down and goes to the, uh, the, the uh, uh, power steering pump, all right? Well, actually, it goes to the uh, power steering uh, box. The pump first goes to the, out of the pump to the box, and the box up here to this motor, and then it'll either bypass if this is not pushed, or it will route it through here if it is pushed. You can see the routing of it, all right? So first thing we want to do, is if this hose is old, if it's really old and cracked, this is a standard 3 8 hydraulic hose. You need to get about three feet, maybe four feet of it. All right. Now down at the pump, it's also uh, uh, got a clamp on it. So if you go down there, you take that loose, you'll see how long it's going to be. Now, another thing that, uh, that I suggest, let me see if I can get a picture of it right here. Yeah, right there. This is a filter. This is a uh, uh, hydro uh, transmission filter. It's made by ATP, and I think the number is JXT160, maybe something like that. 
this filter will be at the end of the work because this is the low pressure. So it's filtering going back into the well. And that's a better place than, uh, for the filter than where it is here, the original one. All right, so let's keep going here. Let's keep talking. All right, let me get this thing here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so this is a made, uh, a made piece here. So it's got a uh, flare fitting. You take that loose. Now, if you start to loosen this and this starts to turn, you get your, isn't that a cute little monkey wrench? I thought it just so cute. So you grab this one here to keep it from turning, you'll see in a minute, and then go ahead and thread this off. Go ahead and take this hose off. All right. Now, remember, this hose comes, yeah, it will drip a little bit. This hose comes from the power steering gearbox and goes into this and then this goes back to the pump all right so this is full of fluid now if that hose is old take uh go back to the video i did about uh renewing your power steering system and have a new hose made but i, I strongly re recommend to do this whole system at one time this is one part of it working on this wiper motor the rest of it is replacing those hoses so if you get down to your and you're watching this video and you're going to do this and that hose comes out and it looks like crap well you know what to do all right so the next thing we want to do this looks like an adapter it looks like a double male adapter it's not it's actually we'll see this end it has a it has a flare fitting on it i think it's a six so what you want to do to get it out of there again get your little trusty monkey wrench out oh come on there we go and thread this out now you'll know that, that it's been done before if it has been because as you can see when i get it out it'll be marked up a little bit and you say oh my god how why is that well if you if you if you're real careful you won't mark it up but it's not a big deal so it's it's made to come out of there now, I've done this before. Uh, it has been out before because I put Teflon tape on it. Now, whatever kind of uh, uh, sealant there is on it, you need to pull all that stuff off. Okay. Now, when you pull this out, you'll see that there is a there will be a plug in here. It'll be a it'll be a metal plug with little wings on it. Now, I've taken mine out, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But You'll see that. So what you do is you take a small Phillips head screwdriver from this side, punch it out, punch out that centerpiece. And what you'll find down in there, then take the screwdriver and dig down in there like that and pull out. And you'll pull out a, a, a cylinder screen, a steel a stainless steel cylinder screen. That is the filter for the entire system. Okay. So I take it out and replace it with the uh, ATP filter that I showed you a few minutes ago. So I would strongly do that. If you're in a place or you don't want to do that or whatever, clean that screen, put it back in, put the plug back, back in, thread this thing back in, put your hose back on it and get them good and tight because, you know, it'll leak if you don't. So get everything nice and tight. Now, this motor is a very, very unique motor. It has a, a, a paddle cylinder like this. It has a real unique seal that goes around it. Uh, but we are very fortunate and in good shape because uh, uh, Jeff Serum down at Serum GMC uh, has the uh, original rebuild parts, and he is rebuilding this. Okay, so if you give them a call, their phone number, get a pen, uh, uh, is 863-763-1121. Usually Norma will answer the phone, so you talk with Norma, tell her, hey, for me, and tell her that you, you need to exchange your wiper motor. Now, understand, your old one is very, very valuable. It's, it's actually the core on the, on the uh, core charges, I think, more than the rebuild. 
because they have to get these back because that's what uh, continues <coughs> uh, the ability to have them to replace, right? So if this is hooked up and you've done, you've serviced this, and if this cable is set and it pushes that pin, and if this thing doesn't work, yes, you need to have the pump rebuilt, which is not unusual, all right? To get the pump out, really a pretty easy thing. If you follow this down, there's a, there's a pin right here. You pop off, it pulls off the, uh, the arm right there. And there's two bolts on the back side, two hoses, your cable, and it's out. No problem, all right? It is a very, very good system. Now, there is another system that came out, and uh, it works very well. I've used it many, many times. Uh, it converts from the, from the uh, power steering to an electric light. Uh, a gentleman named Ken Henderson, wonderful guy. I've known him for <laughs> decades. His son is still producing an electric wiper kit. Bolts right in. You buy a standard, uh, easily available electric wiper motor. Uh, put that in there, and it works very, very well. It will bypass all the hoses and everything. Like that. Uh, the one thing is, though, don't forget where to get the wiper motor. Matter of fact, I, I would buy two of them because you've got to understand, when it is raining and you're going down the highway, it is an absolute hurricane. In there. Now, that wiper motor, that electric wiper motor, is weatherproof, but it's not waterproof. And I've had instances that it shorts out because there's so much water in here. So if you do want to get the electric, and it's, it, it's a viable option, if you do want to do it, <clears throat> do what you can to waterproof uh, that, uh, uh, that motor. And honestly, putting a flap on it does nothing because the air comes up this way, okay? It, it really, doesn't, uh, really doesn't help it that much. It looks good. But the electric system gives you uh, sequential and some other things and and again if all this is wasted and you want to go electric and you want to put up with the uh the water issue electric is a good option for this right servicing this thing is real simple <clears throat> filter hoses and the adjustment of the cable right you can see the cable has a little bump at the end of it now if your cable is bad if this is bad and you you are forced to take it apart, uh, there's a there's a, uh, a circlip, there's a ball bearing, and there's a spring. Be real careful with those things. Uh, usually, the only thing you can do to fix it is to lube the cable up, and you could do that in place. I would lube the cable up anyway because it's 50 years old and you know that it's dry. Uh, pull the back of the uh, dash off and drip some penetrating oil down the cable, and that's the best thing you can do for it. All right. All right. This is kind of a short video. Uh, it's part of our database, and what what I want to have is, if you run into an issue or you do have a question, this is a basics on your wiper system. All right. I appreciate your support, Ranch Hands. You give me the opportunity to, to do all these things for you, um, folks that are uh, learning something here. If you are, let friends know. Let them know. And if you really feel this is uh, viable and this is something that uh, helps you with your GMC experience, you know, become a ranch hand. You can go to the front page of the Patreon site and it'll, you know, it'll show you how to do that. You guys that are following me on YouTube, uh, it's great. I appreciate you. But I invite you to go to the Patreon site. Uh, go to Google, hit patreon.com, uh, and then search on their site creator for Motorhome Rehab Ranch. There, I, I may have some stills. I'll have some uh, verbiage written down uh, about this video and stuff like that. Also, on that, on that note, Ranch Hands and others that want to uh, reach out and talk to me, I'm telling you, I've got so many uh, folks sending out, and it's a wonderful thing, but I would ask you to either uh, call me, your Ranch Hand, or text me, uh, uh, or on the Patreon site comment to me there because uh th we, i have i'm been bombarded with instagram and and facebook and uh the youtube sites and if you do comment on youtube i will get it but the best thing is is to reach out and uh don't find some obscure place because it may take me a while to look at it all right well, look thanks for your time 
I hope this was helpful to you. If anybody has questions about their, uh, their uh, uh, power steering wiper system where you can make five bucks and bet somebody that your, uh, your wipers don't run on electricity, <laughs> uh, refer them to this video. All right, man. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.